to another video. I am just hanging out in my office right now doing this intro because we have some guys here working on some stuff and I promise that when all this stuff is done, I will do a house tour. You guys keep asking me. We're just waiting for like a few things. Like we still just don't have even a mirror in our bathroom. We don't have shelves in our house. So like there's not a lot of storage and stuff, but it's coming. Like I think in a, a, a few weeks, we should have everything done and it'll look really nice for the house tour. Anyways, today we are doing another meal plan video. I love filming these videos because I don't know what it is. I just really like the structure of them. I like explaining how to make meals and how to like put the day together. And I have never really been into meal planning or meal prep when I was losing weight. Um, but now I feel like I am a lot because it just helps so much with like buying groceries and not needing to worry about what I'm gonna eat for dinner, like if I have anything made or, I used to just kind of fly by the seat of my pants and now it's a lot more structured. So they help me a lot and it's just great seeing all of your guys, you know, feedback on them. I get so many messages from you guys of how much these have helped you just to figure out what to eat during the week or give you new ideas, how much better you guys feel, how long you've been eating this way, how much weight you've lost, like so many things like that. So I definitely love all of your feedback always feel free to like leave me comments leave me messages i love hearing your guys stories and i just i'm grateful that i am able to help you guys so today we got some delicious meals some different ones we got savory oats for breakfast which this is like a new thing i've been obsessed with and uh, yeah another meal in here is veggie fried rice which it has this like vegan yum yum sauce which i will um post the yum yum sauce in the description box for you guys because i don't have it on my website but I have the veggie fried rice on my website. So all the recipes, everything will be a link down below for you guys. I hope you enjoy this one and let's jump into the recipes. All right, so for breakfast today, we're gonna be making something new that I'm kind of obsessed with and it is savory oats. I love it because you can pack tons of veggies into this recipe and you can kind of make it however you want. Um, so the ingredients I have here are half a cup of rolled oats. I have some mixed mushrooms, bell pepper, and onion, and then a, a banana pepper as well. So you can use whatever kind of veggies you like. I have some pinto beans to top this with, and then this is a new thing I've been using a lot in my oats. I use this actually in sweet oats and savory oats. So I'm gonna also add in half a cup of this rice cauliflower. I just get this from Walmart, but I'm gonna do that when it's cooking. So we'll head over to the cooktop and I'll show you guys how to make this. I'm just gonna put this pan on medium high heat, add in a little bit of water, and then I'm just going to saute the bell pepper, mushroom, and onions for a little bit just till they kind of start to become soft. Also, I'm going to add into here some chili powder. This is gonna be kind of like a Tex-Mex savory oats. And then some garlic powder. Just about a quarter teaspoon of each. All right, so this has been sauteing for about three minutes. I just like to let it saute until all the water starts to be absorbed so you can see there's not a lot of water left in here. So now I'm going to add in a cup of water. I'm gonna add in my oats. And then I'm also gonna add in my cauliflower rice. And I can tell you guys, I've been obsessed with this stuff. I never used it before and I've actually been adding it into my not savory oats and you can't even taste it it actually makes them a little bit creamier and then I also like to add it into smoothies because <laughs> I'm just all about you know getting as many veggies in as I can so I really really like it I suggest giving it a try it's already like made if you buy it in those little packets super good hack I just am obsessed with it if you can tell all right, so this is kind of low boiling. We're just going to keep stirring this until basically all the water has been absorbed. And that's pretty much it. This breakfast really only takes about five to eight minutes to make. And I mean, it takes as long as normal oats. So you can make it in advance and just have it ready to heat up in the morning to microwave and then add some toppings. I'm gonna show you guys the toppings that I like to add. 
but I just have this over high heat and I'm just continually stirring it until all of the water gets absorbed. All right, our oats are done. So I'm just gonna put these into a bowl. And then I like to put my beans on the top because I kind of like to make it into a little macro bowl. And I just like everything to be separate. I have my beans on top. I'm gonna add a little bit of this salsa. This is really spicy salsa. Um, you could add like fresh pico or tomatoes to this um, or just more peppers if you want hot sauce. And then I have a little bit of extra avocado. This is what makes it really, really good. So I'm put this on top and some green onions. Salsa and green onion. That is it, super easy, five minute breakfast. I don't really know what it is about these savory oats, but I feel like they are more satisfying than normal oats, probably because I'm just a savory type of girl. But you can switch this up, so you could use black beans, kidney beans, um, you could use different spices. There's just a million ways to make these, and I mean, look at this, it's so good. For lunch today, we're gonna to be making veggie fried rice. And this recipe is on my website. I'm gonna show you guys kind of a different way to make it because I usually make it with um, frozen pineapple and frozen peas, but today we're gonna to use mango and edamame just to switch it up a little bit. Um, I also like to use this frozen brown rice. There's this brand, I think there's one at Safeway. I mean, you can pretty much find this stuff anywhere, but it makes cooking just so easy. It has changed my life. I usually never cook brown rice because Derek doesn't like it. So now I eat so much more brown rice because of this. And this is what we're gonna use today. We're gonna use a packet of this. I also have some chopped up bell pepper zucchini. We have a quarter of a chopped up onion, mushrooms. This is a fourth of a block of tofu and then we'll have some seasonings and stuff. But this is one of those recipes that actually tastes better like the next day or after it's been refrigerated. So if you need a really quick, easy lunch, this is amazing. It's so filling. It's one of my go-tos. All right, so again, I'm gonna put this, I'm actually gonna put this on high heat because we wanna kind of get the fried effect. I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce into the pan instead of water for flavor and that's just gonna help it cook without oil. And then we're gonna add in right away our onions, our zucchini and bell pepper, and also our mushrooms. So I'm gonna put the lid on. Um, putting the lid on just helps it to release all the moisture in the vegetables. And then at the end, we can just take it off and let all the excess moisture burn off. And it's basically like you're frying veggies without needing to fry them. All right, so this has been cooking for about three or four minutes. I'm going to add in the tofu. So this recipe is actually for two people. You'll see on my website, I used half a block of tofu, but I only have this quarter block left, so I'm just gonna use this. Um, but this recipe will serve two people, so if you are making it for lunches, it'll, it'll be good for two lunches. So now I'm just gonna add in a little bit of ground ginger. It's about a quarter teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we're gonna add in another tablespoon of soy sauce. Mix all this up. And then all we're gonna do is add in our frozen rice and our edamame and frozen mango. To mix this up. If you're like me and you like spicy food, you can add some red chili flakes into here as well but we're basically just going to let this cook until the frozen veggies de-thaw and they aren't frozen anymore and the rice, everything will just kind of cook together. So I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna actually turn this down to low medium heat and we're just gonna let it kind of cook until everything, like I said, becomes de-thawed and cooked together nice and well. So like I said, this makes two servings, so I'm just gonna put half of this into my bowl. Another thing I really like to add into here is um, kale at the very end when it's cooking, just because I love kale, but I didn't have any, so I didn't today. 
But this is a vegan yum yum sauce and it's actually in the recipe written out on my blog. It's basically just made with cashew sour cream and some different spices. It literally tastes like if you've ever been to Benihana or a hibachi grill. That's what it tastes like. It's so good. It's oil free. Oh my gosh, you guys have to try it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on top. I also really like to put chopped fresh green onions on top, but again, I don't have any. So I'm just going to put some sesame seeds on here. And that is it. Okay, for dinner tonight, we're gonna be making pea soup. And this is probably one of the soups I make the most in my house because it's very comforting, filling. It's a perfect winter soup. You can pack tons of veggies into this one too. And I feel like it's one of those soups that's kind of difficult to make because of the fact that the peas take quite a long time to cook. So over time, I've kind of perfected how to make this. What I do is I actually take a cup of peas and I soak them overnight so that's what i did with these and then i drained and rinsed them and i added four cups of water to this so i actually like to cook these with the onions for a little bit with the seasonings and everything because i don't like it when my soup is just like all the veggies are super soft and soggy so this is the way i'm gonna show you guys how to make this on the stovetop if you want you can literally add everything into your instant pot put it on high pressure for 40 minutes cook it and just like blast it. That's how I used to make it. But I think it, I think it's a lot better this way. So I have a cup of dried peas here. Like I said, I soaked these overnight. I'm gonna add in half a onion that I minced up. So into here, I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. And then I like to add extra garlic into here. So we're gonna do about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we're just gonna bring this to a boil, let it um, simmer for 10 minutes, and then I'll be back. Now I'm gonna add in the rest of the ingredients. So I have four, um, they're pretty, like I would call them medium. They're not massive russet potatoes, but say about two pounds of potatoes. You could use whatever kind of potatoes you like. You don't have to use russets. This is just all I had on hand, but you wanna cut them into little chunks that are all about the same size. So throw these in there. I have about a cup and a half of chopped carrots and then two stalks of celery that I diced up. And I'm gonna add in some salt. So I stopped using Better Than Bouillon because first of all, it's expensive. It has some questionable ingredients in it, like natural flavors and stuff. So I just like to use salt. I'm just using a teaspoon. And if I need more salt um, Later, I'll just add it to the top of the meal before, like the top of my soup dish before I eat it. Um, I like to just add a little bit of salt and black pepper to the top. But we're gonna bring this back to a boil, cover it and let it cook for 30 minutes, and then it's pretty much done. All right, so this is done. And I just like to blend it really lightly at the end to get it really, really creamy, because I just like it that way, so. I blend probably a fourth of the soup. All right guys, so that is it for today's meal plan. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you are new to a plant-based diet and you don't know what to do and you don't even like know where to start, I do have a free weight loss cheat sheet on my website that gives you um, a ton of meal ideas. There's a little meal plan in there. There's lots of knowledge that you need to know to just get started. So that is free. I will leave the link for that down below. And like always, as I said in the beginning, all the recipes and everything will also be linked for you guys down in the description box. So yeah, I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I will see you next week.